They recently brought these caps into Ireland that just don't detach from the bottle and I know it's to save like the turtles and all that stuff but Jesus Christ it annoys me. Every time I go to drink I almost poke my eyeball out. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your daily dose of tism. Today we are going to be talking about the reason I am the way I am. ADHD. ADHD has gained in popularity lately because of stuff like, you know, this. Which, Jesus Christ lads, how do you watch things like that? I am diagnosed with ADHD and that does my tits in. ADHD is one I swear to God I feel like I'm going to be saying that so much in this video i'm sorry it's one of the most misunderstood disorders ever you guys don't understand me it's not a phase mom <laughs> but it is so misunderstood to the point that there are so many people out there that don't even realize they have it like myself i only got diagnosed with it last year i am 23 years of age mental disorders like dyslexia depression always get caught at a very young age and a lot of the time adhd does as well but that is only for the really really affected people and not like affected the way I'm affected but like the people who are just really really hyperactive and when I was growing up a lot of the people in my class that were diagnosed with ADHD were the type of people who would try to do a headstand on the table in the middle of the class for no reason and just all sorts of outrageous hyperactive shit so when I was growing up that never even crossed my mind because yeah I was a hyper kid I was a loud kid but I was just a kid you know I was never to that extent and then you have other people like the Emily's who just thrive off of pretending that they have mental disorders. You definitely have known somebody like this in your life where they just pretend like they have everything under the sun. So growing up, I always painted this picture of ADHD in my head. And then when I went into secondary school, which would be like high school for you Americans, I think. And it was there that a lot of people, including my close friends, started pointing out that I might have something wrong with me, which, ooh, fucking hell, who would have thought? <laughs> Because now I know that I have what is called inattentive ADHD. Where like I'm not really hyperactive unless I'm in like a really good mood. If I'm in a great mood, I will be bouncing off the fucking ceiling. But my type prevents me from being able to pay attention to things that I'm not interested in. So I found it very, very hard in school. And during these classes, I would like draw, but it wasn't like the typical drawing, you know, on like a page. I used to draw my skeleton all over my hand, like draw the bones of my fingers. And sometimes I'd even get down to the elbow but that was around the time that people started like pointing it out to me you know and i just thought they were being meanies because like in school i got tested a lot <laughs> it's funny to say but i got tested a lot because in primary school i had the same issue i just was not very good at school i wasn't very academically inclined but for some reason they tested me about like fuck man jesus like five times minimum for dyslexia in primary and secondary school each time i passed failed? I don't know what way to describe it, but I did not have dyslexia. And for some reason, for them, they just thought, oh, let's test him again. Maybe he was just lucky that time. They really wanted me to have dyslexia. But it wasn't until I actually like tried to do something with my life that I really, really started to notice something. Like when I first started making YouTube videos, for example, I would have so many thoughts and ideas for videos and I'd really enjoy like thinking about it. But when I actually came to action, I found it really fucking hard, which I'm sure a lot of my fellow ADHD years would agree with but i just didn't have the motivation to actually execute it and i used to put it off so fucking much just because i didn't feel like it you know and then a few days would go by and then i'd feel like shit because my motivation's back and i didn't get a video up for that week you know it just made me feel like shit made me beat myself up a lot i started thinking that i was just lazy i started trying to like meditate and all that stuff for so long this is over the span of a few years by the way but i just wasn't getting anywhere i tried everything i literally tried fucking everything everything so it really started getting hard and i started getting in my head a lot more than usual and then that kind of like bled over to a lot of uh, other mental things i started getting a lot of anxiety because of it before i go and do anything that's like social or if there's like something that i'm worried about coming up i think of every single possible outcome it sounds like i'm joking but i really fucking am not Sometimes I would genuinely be paralyzed by how many thoughts were in my fucking head, man. I felt like Gojo with the six eyes. I was thinking of every possible worst outcome, every possible good outcome, and I was like having the emotions as if I was actually living them. But it wasn't until I met my ex-girlfriend where it really started to uh, kind of click and make sense. That was literally the final stone that made me go and get tested after 20 fucking years. And when I got there, 
like after like a few months of like the process, which it is a pretty long process, unfortunately, they turned around to me and said, there is no doubt in our mind that you have ADHD. And this disorder is 50% uh, hereditary, which means there's a 50-50 chance that you get it or give it onto your kids. So like I have ADHD now, I there's a 50-50 chance my kids are gonna have it, you know? So when I found out, my mother and father had to go on a call uh, with the psychiatrist and she kind of came to the conclusion it's my father's fault because she thinks he also has ADHD. <laughs> so we both found out together. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to tell that story so I could put it into perspective that it's not at all what you think it is. Everyone's ADHD is different. Mine would be completely different to someone else's I know. So if you're watching this video and you are thinking that you possibly have ADHD, if you, are, if you even relate to some of the things that I talked about, definitely go and check other people's videos out about it because everyone has their own experiences. It was really, really nice knowing what it was and I could kind of like be easier on myself about the fact that it wasn't because I'm lazy and all that stuff which to be fair there is some elements to me being lazy I'm not fucking putting that fact completely to bed I do be lazy some days and if you are even thinking about getting medicated just make sure you do your research okay just make sure you do your research about the medications and stuff because fuck me man and there is a huge stigma around ADHD meds because it really does affect everybody differently but she gave me a lot and I mean a lot of information about all these different types of medications that she was thinking of putting me on. I think there was like three in total. There was Ritalin, which is like the big boy, the main one, Concerta XL, and Tyvance, which is the one I'm on now, which is like a form of Adderall, or has the same like chemical that Adderall has because we're not allowed Adderall over here. It's not allowed. But man, it was concerning the fucking side effects that they had written on this thing. Potential side effects, I should say. There was shit like lack of sex drive, you know, which is fair enough. It's not that big. You know, foggy head, you know, fog fog brain. Lack of appetite, uh, drowsiness, trouble sleeping, and then psychotic episodes. Huh? You fucking what now? This fucking piece of paper told me if I take this medication, I could become schizophrenic. It's potential side effects, so it's not that big of a deal. It's just like stuff that if you do experience it, it means the medication's not agreeing with you and you should get off of it. And the thing that I was told by the psychiatrist mostly is it isn't a cure. It's not gonna cure you. It's just something to give you that little extra help in uh, changing your habits or give you that extra little help in getting your work done, you know? It's not gonna be like a fucking miracle drug. So don't be going into medication thinking it's gonna be the be all and end all of all of your issues because it really isn't. Because I did kind of go into it with that mind frame. I thought everything was going to change for me once I start taking these meds. A lot of my friends were actually worried about the fact that I was going to change, you know, like my personality was gonna change a lot. And to some extent it has changed, but not in the way they all thought it was gonna be. They all thought I was gonna be like, like the quiet kid all of a sudden, you know? My dream is to talk on the internet for a living. You really think that I'm gonna be fucking quiet? But yeah, that is a lot of concerns that people have that like it's gonna change them completely in the negative way, which to be fair, some of them could if it doesn't affect you correctly, but not permanently. All you have to do is stop taking that medication, go back to your doctor, have a talk, she'll prescribe you something else, give it a try. And there are people out there who are really against medication and that's completely fine. There are some people out there who have had terrible experiences with meds and there's some people out there who know people who have had Ter terrible experiences with meds. Two people aren't gonna be the same no matter how close you are. Even if it's your fucking brother, it's not gonna be the same as it affects you. When I went with the Thai Vans, bro, everything changed. Because my main problem that I was beating myself up about, as I was saying, is my productivity. No matter what it is, all of that type of stuff, I would fucking procrastinate, put it off for as long as I possibly could because I just didn't want to do it. It was very hard for me to get into the flow of editing. On the bad days, it took me like, what, an hour to like even get into the flow of editing. So I'd be forcing myself to edit for an hour which was fucking agony, which is something that people really don't explain about ADHD. Is people that don't have this disorder always turn around and like, just fucking do it, you know, it's not that hard. But for me, it was genuinely physically uncomfortable for me to do something that my brain wasn't allowing me to do. I started getting headaches, and my body done everything fucking possible to make me stop what I was doing, you know? So many simple things for somebody with ADHD is just like a fucking mountain that they need to climb every day, including myself. If I want to jump from one thing to another, say if I'm like recording for a video playing a game, before I was medicated, I'd have to like take an hour break before I even started editing. Whereas nowadays I can jump straight from that to editing and it would feel seamless. But I've only been medicated for about eight, no, 10 months, I'd say, something along those lines. And I feel like I'm getting better and better and better the more I am taking the medication because now when I'm off the meds, because you have to take two day breaks. But now the days that I'm off the meds, I can easily do this shit because I'm so used to doing 
doing it now and I know I can. But yeah, don't believe everything that somebody tells you unless they're like an actual licensed fucking psychiatrist. And if you have any hint that you have ADHD or anything along those lines, any mental disorder, definitely go talk about it. Because as I always say, ADHD is a fucking blessing most of the time. It is like, I wouldn't change it for the world. I love it. Like it just kind of gives you that bit of a spark, you know? But on the flip side of the coin, it is a fucking curse because as much as you can be motivated and hyper focused and all of this shit the opposite is also true sometimes you just get like so down in the dumps all your dopamine receptors are fucked so it can be a gift and a curse but i wouldn't change it for the world and you shouldn't be feeling like it, you should change it for the world either find the good in it it really can be fucking amazing but yeah i just wanted to kind of make this video to tell my story a little bit because <laughs> Fun fact, given the content of the video, I was going to make this video seven months ago. Guess what I did? Pushed it off. <laughs> because I don't like talking about like personal things. I always feel like it's going to make me seem like a fucking attention seeker or whatever. Or, like feel bad for me type of thing, you know? I don't like doing that. But I feel like the good would outweigh the bad in this video because I feel like it could help a lot of you guys, especially those like wondering if you do have it and then and help you guys kind of like realize if you should go and get checked or not and kind of put your worries to rest you know because the way i found out that i should probably go and get checked was a youtube video titled like if you have these 10 things you could have adhd and that was so crucial to me going and actually getting checked and i don't even know if i would have gone i probably would have gone eventually but like it probably would have been a lot longer if i hadn't seen that video so i kind of want to pass on the favor in a way so don't feel like i'm trying to be like oh pity me feel bad for me that's not my intention at all i just feel like uh, it's very misunderstood. People need to understand it a bit better. And they need to know it's not all bad, you know? And yeah, we hate these videos fucking so much. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Comment down below what you thought of the video. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. But yeah, it's my day off, so I'm just gonna try and get as many videos uh, recorded as I possibly can. But I am sweating, bro, so much. It's so hot outside. But I really hope that this helped at least one of you guys out there. But with that all said, folks, if you liked my face and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. We're on the road the 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. And if we do reach 1,000 by then, I'm going to be jumping out of a fucking plane. I actually had a dream about that last night. Fun fact, that was wild but yeah make sure to check out the channel there's a whole variety of different content on there this is a very one-off type of video i don't usually make this type of video you know talking about personal stuff and all that so yeah with that all said it's been exo and i'll talk to you all later have a good one folks